Hello, and welcome to the Electra training video series. This video will cover an overview of how to connect devices to Electra within the device list. If you're following along from the launching Electra video, I'm continuing from where we left off by clicking Go to Device List. This will take you to the Device List window. If you are not seeing the Device List window, please navigate there now by using the left side panel within Electra. With the Device List, you can set up many different pieces of hardware. Since we loaded several configurations via the configuration wizard already, you see many different examples like amplifiers, antennas, receivers, and more. In this video, we're going to show you how to modify an item already added by Electra and how to create a brand new device connection. First, let's modify an existing antenna tower that was added by the Electra configuration wizard. By using this dropdown, you can change the type or model of the device being used. Alternatively, if you find yourself wanting to add an additional device, you can click the Add a New Device button in the top right, and then select the category for the item to be added. In this example, we're going to add a receiver. So, we will select Receiver, then choose the applicable family type, ESW, and then finally the specific instrument within that family, ESW26. Once you've selected the item, it will then be added to your device list and you can configure all the necessary parameters. At this point, we'll work left to right on the toolbar. The first thing you can do is rename the item. As an example, I want to name this item ESW44. If you're paying close attention, you'll realize that I selected ESW26 before instead of ESW44, but I can fix this easily from here by using this drop-down box. Now I have an ESW44 as I intended instead of an ESW26. At this point, we are finished with the needed settings in the toolbar section. Now we'll work on the connection settings down below. As you can see here, we can toggle between GPIB or TCPIP, which would be a LAN interface. Use this drop-down box to select the interface type that you want. In this case, we'll use a LAN connection, and then enter the IP address. In this case, I'm reading the IP address off the ESW44 receiver. For RNS receivers, you can typically find this info by pushing the setup key and navigating to network settings. Once you've entered all the information correctly, notice the indicator on the right hand side of the toolbar letting you know that you need to save your settings. Click the save button to save your settings to the Electra database. Now look for the connection column and click the plug looking icon in the toolbar. This will initiate a physical connection between Electra and the receiver. Upon successful connection, the plug icon should look plugged in rather than unplugged. If you want Electra to automatically connect to a certain piece of hardware every time you launch the software, you can check the checkbox within the permanent column. If you do not use this feature, you will be responsible for coming back to the screen and clicking on the plug icon every time you want to use a certain piece of hardware with Electra. This concludes the training video on connecting devices to Electra. If you're following along, the next video will cover how to define and apply limit lines, frequency lists, transducer corrections, and attenuation factors.